Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm starting with a special video series in which we will have some exclusive conversation with industry experts on different topics to help you understand how can you boost your career and make it better. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm starting with a special video series in which we will have some exclusive conversation with industry experts on different topics to help you understand how can you boost your career and make it better. Due to the COVID pandemic, a lot of professionals are facing a number of issues in their careers right now. So I thought, why not make a new video series so that you can get the required help that you are looking for. Freshers right now are worried as there are no job opportunities and experienced are dealing with the survival of the fittest. So in this special video series, which is going to feature experienced HR professionals so that you can get the valuable tips and insights, for the first episode, I have with me an experienced HR professional, Mr. Amit Parikh. Amit has more than 15 years of rich experience in the corporate world and 10 plus years in domain of training and organizational development. He has closely worked with learning and development professionals, resulting in people development. He has conducted training for more than 5,000 participants and has mentored and counseled more than 3,000 students. Amit is right now working as a corporate lead with India as one of the most prestigious media organizations. Let's go and have a conversation with Amit. So, uh, Amit, thank you so much for coming on board. Uh, and I'm really happy that you are here to answer all the questions that, you know, the freshers have in mind or even the experienced professionals like me are going through considering the current pandemic situation. So my first question to you uh, would be that, you know, Let's begin our conversation by understanding why does one needs to constantly learn in their life? Because a lot of times what we think is that, you know, freshers, we understand that they should learn. However, when it comes to somebody who has gained a certain experience in their life, they always have this particular doubt that why should I learn? I know a lot. So please tell me, you know, tell me the importance of learning. Oh, uh, you know, just to give you an understanding, if you see, uh, you know, before COVID situation, Things were totally different, you know, one could, uh, uh, you know, go here and there, explore things, uh, you know, had an opportunity to, to meet around people, meet, uh, you know, go explore different types of formats when it comes to learning or, you know, uh, understanding the industry and the dynamics. But now, uh, if you see, after the COVID, the entire situation has changed. A lot of people, uh, unfortunately, have you know, being laid off and uh, the entire ball game has changed from a physical uh, interaction to virtual uh, interaction. And, you know, a lot of people had to actually change their thought process, their method of uh, working, the way they used to interact, you know, everything has changed, you know. Uh, you have to manage both the sides earlier when we used to talk about that, you know, balancing work life and uh, family life is very important, mm. right? Uh, somehow people uh, used to escape from the family life because, you know, most of the time they used to spend in their office or, you know, either they're traveling. Now being at home, they have to ensure that they are balancing both, you know. So for a lot of people, you know, dynamics have changed. Not only that, also what has happened is, uh, learning becomes a very important and is very uh, integral part of of your life. The reason being is, if you see, um, I, I would say for uh, many aliens like us who have been in an era of 80s and 90s, started with uh, writing, you know, books. Right? Today's generation, you really ask them, you know, they only know keypad, <laughs> book. And pen is something which, you know, very few people, uh, you know, are accustomed to. Hmm. So what happens that uh, in that mode, I've seen a lot of people, if they don't get the keyboard and if they have to write, at times they do make spelling mistakes as well. You know? hmm. And a lot of people use a language wherein, you know, you when you are writing a word called you, it's by O-U, but hmm. because of the texting hmm. uh, methodology, yeah. a lot of people write you, you know, yeah. so, uh, you know, they might say, you know, it's okay, we are in the 20th century, but uh, you know, the fact remains that the fundamental has to be the same, right? When today you go for an interview, even if you are in the 21st century, yeah, you would wear a formal and you would go for an interview, right? 
do you wear a jeans and a t-shirt and go for an interview that's no. true so you know things and also what happens in the professional world uh, you have to be with uh, what's there you know so adaptability and flexibility is is, is a critical part like for example um until jan i would say people used to have uh, you know ilts you know and classroom training formats right now it's complete on vlt it's completely on on a technology platform you know? so what happens that people today now are doing webinars are doing uh, sessions on different platforms you know and that's how you know the things have changed earlier uh, you know you were live in front of the person you know you could do a lot of activity physical uh, approach now it's more of you know you have a lot of polls you have questionnaires and you know stuff like that a lot of uh, mental uh, activities have been developed you know so you see a lot of training methods have also changed you know a lot of courses have come up i see you have seen a lot of companies who have come up with a lot of courses uh, and you know people have started taking up those courses because earlier either they were not able to because they used to travel or they are working for long hours but mm-hmm. now is the time in fact i've seen a lot of people who have taken an advantage of that wherein they have started mm-hmm. spending at least 2 hours of their day uh, you know learning something and the learning is is critical because now for example if you see or uh, till the time like a lot of trainers when you used to train in in you know classroom method they knew that they have a laptop they have a projector they have their audience now technology has changed yeah. if they say that i will only yeah in fact i totally agree with what you are saying that learning has changed and in fact technology has also changed uh, in fact the coronavirus pandemic has changed the way we used to perceive things and move forward in life which actually brings me to my next question which uh, i'm sure a lot of youngsters and freshers these days have who are planning to make a career in media industry you know there are a lot of freshers who want to make a career in this industry however due to the current scenario uh, they are struggling to get a good job opportunity and they have a lot of free time right now so the biggest question now that comes in uh, because you are, belong to that industry you are an hr experienced hr so maybe you can give them the right guidance that what kind of online training or certifications they can complete right now so that they can have a better chance of securing a job once this scenario gets settled uh, you know see there are a lot of courses in the market you know and depending on the stream they want to get into you know uh, it all depends so i would not name specific course which will give them a hat to get into the industry uh, because that's how it doesn't work you know you uh, you get a good degree from a good institute at the same time you need to have that zeal as well you know it just cannot be that you get a degree and you uh, flourish uh, in the organization that's a myth which a lot of people today have so it's very important yes uh, the basic fundamental which every organization and department looks at is the right skill sets and the zeal of working if you have a combination of both i'm sure uh, you know you will get what you want yes it might take time you know because uh, i don't think in this world there is a single person who can say that whatever i want i wish and i get right either you have to struggle or you will have it's like you know uh, there's no free lunch mm. right so you have to earn it so yeah. if you want to earn it you need to learn it that's true yeah. you know so uh, i would not say you know if you will do an ex course you are the person or you know in the merit list you would mm-hmm. stand over here but uh, yes you need to ensure that what you want to uh, pursue as a career you need to have the fundamentals right in place sure i think uh, that's rightly said because the right skill sets are very very important uh, if I just ask you maybe you can give me a very small example like a very small important skill which is uh, very much required like i can uh, say from my experience uh, because like i worked for 8 years in the media industry and i realized that the skills of photoshop is very very important if somebody wants to get into uh, the online uh, you can say you know media industry because you might as even as a writer even as a journalist there are times when you have to publish a story very quickly and the designer might be caught up with other things that is when right. you pick up the photoshop skills and maybe do it on your own so right. any small software or any small certificate which might be very very helpful see uh, as you uh, rightly said that 
but uh, you know uh, a software uh, you know d- any design software really you know helps out you know there are mm-hmm. lot of courses provided by lot of uh, you know institutes nowadays you know you have coursera you have udemy you know there are so many institutes which have come up with courses right mm-hmm. you see the the idea the thought process is that if you as you said that you know to become a all rounder you know it's very important for you to know uh, you know all the areas of in and around when you see like for example in the media industry there are a lot of uh, various aspects you know one might become get into journalism and one might want to get into sales one might want to get into production you know so it all all depends and depending on that particular uh, you know domain uh, one should uh, try to enhance their skill sets you know so mm-hmm. there are a lot of Uh, you know small small courses so with these type of universities and you know these type of uh, small companies have come up with uh, to enhance these skill set so and see for a fresher any choice he or she has uh, already been learning you know what they want to uh, you know pursue as a career so the base already they have set up uh, mm-hmm. maybe you know they can enhance by doing some small advanced certification courses which might uh, help them and support them sure so i think uh, this is also a valuable advice in all courses and brushing up your skills uh, and yeah. try to get as many uh, you can say hands on experience as possible is a good thing which gets me to another question which is you know there's a lot of confusion when it comes to online and distance learning degrees okay uh, whether they hold importance or not for a fresher versus an experience because when somebody is experienced and they are working and they are collecting the degree i don't know there's a lot of confusion people say that it is important however when a fresher just picks up an online degree versus a regular course or maybe something like that how would you answer that question i mean how much importance is given to an online all, see it all depends on organization to organization at the okay. end as well you know so you can't have a generic uh, understanding out here because what happens that uh one uh, organization might want a uh, you know uh, accredited uh, you know recognized uh, uh, degree mm-hmm. or one might say that okay you know i am okay with uh, a certification from a good uh, reputed institute uh, mm-hmm. till the time you your fundamentals are clear you know so mm-hmm. uh, there is nothing as a rule or a break but yes it is always advised to have uh, your schooling from the right institute okay okay uh, so my uh, next question to you would be that for experienced professional okay uh, what sort of training programs would you recommend completing for somebody who's who's working in the media industry maybe see, i would see here it because as i said that you know it all depends on you know see um, on which stream which domain you want to be that media also cannot be uh, you know in one particular arena it has to be in multiple folds okay so okay. it cannot i cannot say i say that okay course like works out so you know things can be worked mm-hmm. out and course why is so you know it all depends on like you know if you want to do journalism you would want to do an x course and if you uh, mm-hmm. you know want to get into uh, say sales you would enhance your skill set accordingly right Right. so you know depending on what you want to pursue it all depends and uh one thing you should always uh, uh, that is something which i have learned from my mentors also mm. that always try to uh, update yourself with the current trend mm. if you do that then you know it really helps you to uh you know enhance not only your skill set but it helps you know the organization also because you are learning with the uh, current requirement the current scenario you know like for example if you see uh, we talk about different online platforms now if you know uh, when when you are in a training uh, you know domain and if you are not aware of the current trends and the platforms then somewhere down the line you are in that stone age you mm. know so it's very important that the moment you know that uh, you are going to get into something you should ensure that you get your basics right you know mm. homework is very important yeah i think that that saying never goes old that your homework yeah. is very important no matter what level you are at
Yes. So, okay, if I ask you that, how can one keep themselves motivated in their professional life? For because these are very tough times for everyone, for founders, for experienced people, for everyone. Yes, it's a very tough time for a lot of people. Uh, you know, see, I would not, uh, you know, give a gyan because it's very easy for people to say who have a secure job or you know secure business, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yes, I uh, at the end I would say that nothing, uh, you know, uh, is permanent. You know, it's a phase. It could be a good one. It could be a bad one. Mm-hmm. So. It's very important for one to hold their horses. Uh, you know, you need to uh, strive. You need to ensure that you know you keep moving. You can't just say that oh, you know, I lost it, so things are over. No, you never know what's coming up next for you. Keep trying, keep trying, right? And today there are a lot many networking, uh, you know, platforms through which. You, you know, help others or you, you know, get help from others, you know, like uh, LinkedIn being one of the platforms mm-hmm. to a lot of people I see, uh, you know, who at least if they can't help someone will share or like, you know, that particular uh, understanding and at least it gets circulated and that's how you, you know, help a lot of people. Right. So this is how I feel that, uh, you know, one should the uh, really not become negative and uh, uh, if you see for example the best example is uh, the, the KFC you know uh, you should just you know read uh, the case study uh, of this gentleman mm-hmm. the way he you know uh, has failed so many times and then finally he came up with uh, you know KFC as a brand mm-hmm. and at an age wherein people are retired and are almost on on the verge of uh, you know relaxing in their life and he started actually coming up Mm. so there is nothing as as permanent failure Uh, so Mm. people should not become negative yes it's Mm. it's it's not going to be that easy too Mm. but yes you know uh, focus and and keep trying that's that's yeah. the best keep trying is the only the as we say change is the only constant and if yes. it is dark now the sun will definitely rise tomorrow so sure. also amit i want to ask you that you know how have you uh, kept yourself motivated uh, since last 3 months as you are based out of mumbai and you know mumbai is facing a lot of uh, tough times because of the corona pandemic um, the best thing was, uh, you know, rather thinking about, uh, you know, negative thought process, think about positive thought process. Mm-hmm. And the best thing what I did was, uh, was my thought was to focus on, uh, you know, development rather than thinking about the de- destruction. Mm-hmm. You know, so when you talk about, when you think about development, it really, you know, helps you to enhance yourself. And it really keeps you going so uh, you know it's very important for you to focus on what's there and what can come rather than thinking about what uh, will go cool i think that's a very uh, i think that's the right approach of being conscious about your thoughts and consciously choosing the positive over the negative because i think that's the only mantra that can help all of us to sail through so Amit, you were telling me that you know uh, some of the good platforms where one can register and maybe get the value for money for the courses that they want to do. Uh, see, uh, there's no specific uh, you know platform or course, but yes, I would suggest that since you know uh, right now, if every individual has a time and if they can spend at least one hour a day, they should try to you know uh, learn something new, which will help them, which will enhance their skill set. That will really give them a balance, uh, you know, because in in coming future, maybe, you know, once they resume offices and, you know, they join offices, you never know, they might get time or not. This is the right opportunity, uh, grasp it at least one hour a day, you know, Mm -hmm. learn learn Mm -hmm. something which will help you. So once you are back, uh, you are in action uh, with uh, enhanced uh, skills. Right. Okay. Can you recommend us some good books? Because I'm sure there are a lot of people who do not like sitting in front of the laptop and maybe you know learning something new all the time. So maybe if you could give us names of some books. 
uh, see, uh, see, there's a lot of books, you know, uh, in the market which are there, uh, you know, ready, uh, you know, available. But mm-hmm. what I would also suggest uh, that yes, reading books is one thing which everyone should, uh, you know, do. Apart from that, uh, I know you know a lot of people don't like sitting in front of the laptop or you know a mobile. But I I suggest uh, you know they should uh, see uh, you know uh, a lot of motivational movies. Uh, you know the reason being it because see what might also happen is that some might have an access of online books, some might not have, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And getting a physical book might might not be possible. You never know being in which part of the country you are. Mm-hmm. So I you know seriously. Uh, you know recommend uh, you know seeing movies which which motivate you the reason being is what happens when you see like for example a uh, pursuit of happiness you know mm. will smith right that's that's the, i would say the perfect example for someone you know in this type of lockdown situation you know mm. you can see the kind of struggle he had mm. or or you can see the movie in turn uh, you know where mm. this old man who has mm. worked uh, you know for a press and then he again joins as an intern in the same building with the mm. agency you know so so these type of movies really you know give you that thought process you know mm. also you can see there are a lot of motivational uh, you know and i would not say speakers but i would say examples in the you know world like nick jovic is one of them who does not have you know hands and legs and still he is is an amazing guy he does a lot of stuff which uh, you know requires hands and legs you know otherwise uh, mm. so seeing all these things really when you see uh, you know all these stuff the example of kfc which i gave you mm. when you see these type of examples in your life trust me you will actually feel that you are much 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 better uh, in terms of doing a lot of stuff mm. you know so uh, you know i seriously recommend that uh, try to take positivity from every situation you know rather than mm-hmm. having uh, that thought that by me you know and then mm-hmm. taking a wrong step and mm-hmm. uh, i suggest being positive is the first step towards success mm-hmm. uh, become uh, the more you are positive trust me the more successful you become right? i can really uh, judge one thing uh, from your point that uh, amit uh, an hr always looks for a positive attitude in a candidate when they are hiring or when they are speaking to someone so not only hr every person right every person in this every person in the industry you know not only hr every person in the, in the industry today when for example when we are seeing in the education uh, world or in the training division uh the moment you know the program starts you know uh, the person is on board he has worked maybe 2 years 5 years 10 years in the system or maybe new for that matter but the first thing what a trainer sees in a particular uh, participant is how positive he or she is yeah i agree to that you know so it's not just about uh, you know uh, impressing in the hr but it is for your own life as well mm. that's very important that you as a person uh, if is not positive trust yeah. me you know you uh, are actually uh, you know making the environment bad right right uh, so to said this you know so there is one particular video on on youtube you know for uh, members of a team you know so if you will look at that you will have one member who would want to you know pull the cart until the end the manager is supporting one particular negative person might want to pull it back why because he does not want you to succeed hmm. so now you have to decide which member you want to become as you want to be the first one who's pulling it right and if you become the first one after some time you become the second that's you know someone who is managing and supporting right the one who is dragging i'm sure you don't want to become the one who is pulling the cart at the back right. so you know, where and how you put yourself is very important yes after all at the end of the day we all want to work with somebody who brings a lot of positivity on the table as we all have enough to deal in our lives right yeah Okay, so last question that I would want to ask you is that you know one motivational quote which is very close to your heart and which you want to share with 
everyone watching this video you know that's your life mantra maybe my life mantra is jio or jine do why is jio and jine do is you know because uh, one is you uh, you know see one when you start uh, you, you when you are born you born baby yeah. you, you need to adapt mm. and then when you grow mm. you need to be flexible yeah you know so uh, it's a combination of both you know mm. so you have to ensure that you are uh, when you are young in in an organization you mm. learn and at the same time you come up with your thought process as well you know because mm. uh a new, it's always said that a newborn baby can create and do wonders mm. you know and at the same time when you get into the experienced zone try mm. to adapt you know mm. try to be flexible because mm. what happens uh, after uh, having that experience had we always say that i know everything how can mm. you me yeah I'm sorry you know uh, learning cannot stop Hmm. I think that brings us the full circle uh, from where we started our conversation. Why learning is important, and why should everyone keep learning all their lives from starting till the end? You know, irrespective of the fact what your experience is, one needs to keep learning all the time. Thank you so much, Amit, for coming on board and sharing your valuable experience with all of us. I'm sure everyone who is watching this video will uh, must have picked up very well, a lot of valuable information and insights and learnings from you and. Uh, sure we will keep connecting and we will keep sharing more such valuable insights with our audience thank you so much uh, thank you so much uh, do like this video do subscribe to the channel and uh, do continue watching these video series as we will bring in more valuable information to help you cope through these difficult times thank you